how do we give power to people? It's not even by speaking. Even in the corporate sector, that era of motivation is over where you can speak and motivate people with nice presentations because they will listen and they will say, ha, huh, but mujhse nahi ho bhi. That's it. It's like if somebody is experiencing fear, everyone sit around that person and say, daro mat, daro mat, daro mat. He'll say, ha, huh, aap right bol rahe ho, but mujhe dar lag raha. What do you do? Even if I can see you, okay, you are fearless, you are leading by example, I can see you, you're fearless, to mujhe aur hi complex a jata. Inko to darne lag raha, mere ko hi dar lag raha hai. So the only way now is being that power, being that power and what you are is automatically radiating from you to other people. People will start feeling better in your presence. And they won't even come to know. You don't have to ask them, are you feeling better after meeting me? It's a very subtle power. It's a very subtle power. It creates a shift in people. Today, at home, when people are feeling low, they prefer to be alone. Have you felt that? People feel like being alone. They say, leave me alone, leave me alone. We said, Are, why should I leave you alone? Whether it's my spouse or my child or a sibling, anybody. So leave me alone, leave me alone. And they would want to go into their room, close the door. But why should they be alone? I want to be with them. But they don't want to be with us. Why they don't want to be with us? Because they are in pain. So their vibration has just dipped due to whatever reason. But seeing them in pain, what happens to us? Seeing them in pain, we are also in pain. Whether it's worry, whether it's fear, we create pain. So now they are in pain and seeing them, I am also in pain. And so when I go and sit near them, what will happen? When I go and sit, no, you go and sit with them in their room and you say, I want to sit with you, I want to be with you. But I am in pain and they are already in pain. So what happens when I go and sit with them? My pain adds to their pain and right now they don't have the strength to handle any more pain. So they say, just leave me alone, I will be fine in some time and I will come out. Which means we are not even being able to play the role of a family and friend anymore. Because family and friend means to be there to support and to empower when in need. And that's why in many families, even if a member is going through a crisis, they don't even tell their spouse. They say, I don't want to give them But what if the opposite had to happen, that they are in pain, but you're very stable and powerful, then they will want to come and sit with you. And you will say, can I do something for you? Will you want to share what is happening? They'll say, no. I'll manage, I'll solve my problem. I just want to sit with you for five, ten minutes and I will go. They're only coming for what? That strength. Everybody has to solve their own problems. Even if your child is getting bullied in school, he has to solve his own problem over there. You can't go into the school and do anything. But we need to be that source of power. It's like a battery, so battery ko connect kar do, charge ho jai. Now they'll go and solve their problem. But if they are feeling low and we are also feeling low, then they get depleted and that is what is happening to the children today. So when we focus on our sanskars, our emotional health, the first people who benefit are everybody in our energy circle. And then the circle gets bigger, so it starts with me then my family, and then of course it radiates to my workplace. So it is one fitness which you can gift to others just by being fit yourself. Physical fitness, we can't gift others. We can just keep telling them, I'm going to the gym, why don't you come? I'm doing yoga, why don't you do? I'm going for a walk, why don't you come? But they can only see me getting fitter. Now it's their choice when they do it. But spiritual fitness, which will convert into emotional fitness, which will prevent a mental health issue is what can radiate from us to everybody. So when we take out three days for ourselves, 
It is an investment by which you have no idea how many people are going to benefit. And in a very subtle manner, it's just in the air. So I'm also contributing to raising the vibration of the planet. We are. Even when you sit two minutes in silence and just create this thought, I'm a peaceful soul, you are radiating vibration of peace into the air. It is shifting the vibration of the planet. And when I'm sitting for five minutes and saying, Ye kya hua, aise kya hua, how could they do this, why did they do this, they should not have done this, this, and I create my stress, I am lowering the vibration of the planet. I am. So don't you think it's a beautiful way to contribute to creating peace in the world? Just take care of ourselves. Not just sit in front of the TV and say, Dunya ko kya ho gaya hai, Dunya ko kaun thik karega, Dunya ko kaun thik karega? Is Dunya ko kaun thik karega? Kaun thik karega? Kaun thik karega? Is Dunya ko kaun thik karega? Thik matlab? Parivartan, transform. Actually, thik is a wrong word, because Dunya ko thik nahi karna hai. Repair ni karna hai, transform karna hai, kaan karega? Who all are volunteering to transform the world? Uthalo, uthalo, it's going live on television. Yes. Aapka photo aa gaya, aapko pata hi nahi, aa chuka, it's already there. Aapke office walo ne dekh liya, aapke ghar walo ne dekh liya. It's so simple. Seva Bhav is our innate personality. We like, we feel so helpless seeing somebody in pain, somebody going through turmoil, say, what can I do for this person? But sometimes it's a situation where you can't do anything because it's not in the doing. Everything is not in the doing. So I can't do anything for that person, but it has to be in the being. So this is one investment where I invest and return goes not just to me, but it goes to multifold, to so many people. And most important, the return goes into the vibration of the planet. Now, if I do a karma which benefits many, then what will be the consequence of that karma? Then you get blessings from unknown people, you don't even know. And blessing means, if I have done a karma which has made someone comfortable here, then the consequence of that is, I will be comfortable. So you take a little care of yourself, you radiate a higher vibrational energy into the world, you get a multifold consequence of that, and you start feeling even better than what you were feeling. And so building up this spiritual fitness is the easiest thing to do, because its ripple effect is multifold. Multifold. So priority is the Priority is the, not that line where I have to reach as a winner. Priority is, priority is here. Can we do this now from today? We have to do it for the next three days, so that by Monday, see, one thing you remember, this retreat is not for three days. This retreat is meant to be for it's not that we come here, feel peaceful and Monday go back and by the time we reach the airport and the station, we'll say, oh, why thikta ye sabe, thodi hota hai, that flight hi late ho gai, do ghanta. How can I be peaceful? It's not that. It is not a meditation retreat for feeling peaceful. It is a retreat for connecting back to your sanskar of peace and then going back into the world where many things around us are not the way we want them to be. Because sanskar means sanskar. It's my nature. Like somebody has a sanskar of helping and they can see somebody is exploiting them, still they will continue helping. And the other person says, can't you see? Can't you see what they are doing? You are still helping. So what do we say? Kya karo ye to mere? Kya hai? Ye to mere nature hai. I help what they do with that is their sanskar. Helping is my nature. What is our nature? Purity. Peaceful, powerful, happy, loveful, wise. So IT professionals, we don't go online for all answers. 
Where do we go? We go inside for answers. So meditation helps us to tap into our intuition. Wisdom. Wisdom. And last, blissful. Blissful. So first change, first homework from today. Call only these seven as your nature. And never call any uncomfortable habit as a merry nature hai. No. So merry nature means like this white dress. And all those uncomfortable sanskars are the stain on that white dress. But they are not the color of my dress. They are just a stain. So don't call it mine. Jisko bhi hum mera mera kehte hain, wo baiht jata hai humare saath. Hai na? Aap kisi ko kaho, aap to mere ho, aap to mere ho, kabhi nahi jayega aapko chhodke. To kisi bhi uncomfortable sanskar ko kabhi mera nahi kehna hai. Mera kya hai sirf? Shanti. Pavitrita, Pyaar, Sukh, Shakti, Gyan or Anand. And that is why we have heard Sato Guni Atma. The soul is made of seven qualities, seven sanskars. And in spite of knowing that, we created a world where we said stress is normal and all uncomfortable emotions called as normal. So from today, first homework, never call an uncomfortable feeling my nature. Mine is only seven or all the other colors which come out of the seven. So these are the seven primary and then all our qualities, our sanskars come out of that, whether it's compassion, acceptance, empathy, gratitude, letting go, forgiveness. It will come out of these seven. So these seven will be primary and those will be our secondary colors. But they will all come out of these seven. You cannot be compassionate if you're not loveful. You cannot. You cannot forgive if you're not powerful. So they're all connected. So the whole list of qualities is actually this seven. So who am I is only this seven. So what do we do in meditation is, first step, pick up only one for the day. And anyways, all seven are connected. If I'm pure, I'm peaceful. If I'm peaceful, I'm loveful. If I'm loveful, I'm happy. They're all connected. So the homework is not too big. It's only one thing. So pick one for the day, today evening when you meditate or tomorrow morning. And of course, there will be someone guiding us with commentary tomorrow morning. It's, in fact, it's Suraj by tomorrow morning. Very beautifully, he will conduct with meditation commentary. But when we are back home also, take one for the day. And then the first step of meditation is, I am, fill in the blank, the sanskar you're taking for the day. So if I take the sanskar as, I am a pure soul. Now just create that thought, create the visual and just hold on to it. That is the first step. We saw this morning, Atma, soul means three functions. Mind, intellect, sanskar. Mind will create a thought, intellect will see the visual of that thought. And sanskar meaning the experience gets recorded. Mind, intellect, sanskar. So what is meditation? To take all three together. So for example, right now, create a thought, home. Home. And now see the visual. See your house. So the mind is creating the thought, home. And the buddhi, the intellect, the power of visualization. It can see the home, see the house, very clearly. The main door, the color, open and walk in. Look at the furniture, complete clarity. You're exercising your power to visualize. People at home, it's a Friday morning. Who would be at home at this time? What would they be doing? See them, not think, see them. Go up to them. Share with them what you have experienced here.
go into the kitchen see what's cooking for lunch today see it smell it open the fridge lots of fresh fruits there pick an orange close the fridge come back to your most comfortable chair see all this feel the orange start eating close the door and back into the hall okay ji how many could see the house so clear so that means we all have visualization power so first faculty create a thought home second faculty intellect see the house and third is experience the sanskar how many of you could see people family dikha kya kar rahe the wo breakfast kar rahe the acha haan ji haan ji acha fry oh yeah today is holiday ha ah, right okay haan ji acha padosi se baat kar rahe the wa You saw the pigeons also in your balcony. See, अच्छा you feed them also regularly. And how many of you had the orange? You had chiku. Good. Anyone experienced the orange? हाँ वो juice आया किसी को किसको आया वो हो गया ना meditation. That is all that is needed. This is meditation. Now the only thing is right now we meditated on the house and on the orange and raj yoga means we meditate on we meditate on on i the soul and then second step which we will learn tomorrow to connect to the supreme soul now i tasted the orange now i will experience my purity and peace and most important whatever we visualize and whatever we experience gets coded on the soul and that is what starts becoming my sanskar so even if you take one quality and do that for like a few days within a few days you will see that quality becoming real in your life you will start experiencing mera gussa kam ho gaya hai mere ko tension kam ho rahi hai kya kiya maine aisa just that i am a peaceful soul hold on to that visualize that star and start experiencing peace it's very simple very simple but results something which we had not imagined would be possible we used to say this sanskar is in my gene i got it from my family this is my zodiac sign i am like this no i am not like that i am only these seven sanskar